Namaste and welcome back to our continuing journey through the Avadhuta Gita. Today we continue this profound journey with the continuation of chapter 1 as we continue today's reading with verse 35. I hope you enjoy it. Chapter 1, part 4, verse 35. If you're free of the pervaded and pervader, if you are one and fulfilled, how can you think of yourself as directly perceptible by the senses or beyond the range of the senses? Some seek non-duality, others duality. They do not know the truth, which is the same at all times and everywhere, which is devoid of both duality and non-duality. How can they describe the truth, which is beyond mind and words, which is devoid of white and other colors, of sound and other qualities? When all these appear to you as false, when the body and so on appear to you like space, then you know Brahman truly. Then you are there, is no dual series. Even my natural self appears to me as non-distinct from the Supreme Self. It appears to be one in like space. How can there be meditator and meditation? What I do, what I eat, what I sacrifice, what I give. All this is not mine in the least. I am pure, unborn, undecaying. Knowing all this universe to be formless, knowing all this universe to be without change, knowing all this universe to be of purified body, knowing all this universe to be of the nature of the Absolute. You are verily the truth. There is no doubt about it. Otherwise, what do I know? Why do you consider the Self, which is perceptible to itself, as imperceptible? My child, how can there be illusion and non-illusion, shadow and lack of shadow? All this is one truth. All this is of the nature of space and without taint. I am free in the beginning, in the middle and in the end. I am never bound. This is my sure knowledge that I am naturally spotless and pure. Wow, beautiful words indeed. We're going to pause it at that, at verse 44. I hope you're able to take the time to go through these beautiful verses again and allow their true meaning to permeate through your being. Beautiful indeed. Let's see if there is anything that needs a little clarification. <laughs> In verse 38, Dattatreya mentions that then for you there is no dual series. Dual series such as I and thou, self and God, I and it, self and the world, and so on. Also it means self and not self. In verse 41, he talks about know all this universe to be of purified body. Of purified body, that is to say, the material substance of which the universe appears to be constituted is really nothing but pure spirit or consciousness. Indeed, indeed, beautiful. Leave me a comment and let me know how these words made you feel and what they stirred within. Do share this with someone who you feel will benefit from joining this most profound journey. I look forward to seeing you on a continuing journey through the Avadhuta Gita. Until next time, this is Akshananda signing off from the Himalayas with much love and light. Namaste.